Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before entering new vendors into your company file, you should ensure that you also have the vendor default set as desired to prevent having to enter repetitive data values into each new vendor record you create. You can access this information by selecting Maintain from the menu bar, rolling down to the Default Information command, and then selecting Vendors. The Vendor Defaults window is where you store information that is common to most of your vendors and purchase transactions. These are the default settings applied to each new vendor record created. Therefore, you will want to set these to the most common settings given to new vendors. You can always change the default settings on a per vendor basis when you create the actual vendor records in the future if necessary. In the Vendor Defaults window, you can click the Payment Terms tab to create the standard terms for payment applied to the majority of invoices that you receive from your vendors. Here is where you also set the default General Ledger Purchase Account Number, Discount Account Number, any discount allowances, as well as enter a standard credit limit to use by default for your purchases from your vendors. Specifying these terms simply allows you to set the standard terms most frequently assigned to you by your vendors. On the Account Aging tab, you set the default aging settings used for the bills received from your vendors. You select whether your purchase invoices should be aged by invoice date or due date by default, and you also set the brackets used for aging the company's payables. You can create up to five additional fields for maintaining custom information on your vendors within the Custom Fields tab. You define the names of the data fields here, and then you fill in the desired values for each new vendor record as you create them in the future. On the Pay Methods tab, you can add up to 20 methods of payment that your business uses. This is available from the Purchases, Receive Inventory, and Payments screen, and you can enter them from Most Frequently Used to Least Frequently Used. On the 1099 Settings tab, you define the way that Sage50 reports and tracks payments made to 1099 vendors. For any accounts used for vendor 1099 payments, you can specify which calculation setting to use from the adjacent drop-down available. When you have finished setting your vendor defaults, click the OK button to save them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.